Hi everybody, this is Sarah, Weight Watcher Cape Cod Woman and Pearls of Wisdom and Food on Facebook and this is my second day of doing no videos. How's it working out so far? Well, I still don't have my big mug back but that's okay, I'm kind of liking my little poppy colored Fiesta mug. So, um, my CEUs are completed, I went to my suicide prevention, suicide warning signs, suicide, suicide, um, yesterday, and, it, and there was a great presenter, so that made it good, and um, I ate more than I usually do, because I was bored and restless, it was all high fat, low carb, but <clears throat> I knew, I knew it, I had a second serving of fruit, because I was bored, and I get restless, and I need to get up and move around, and <clears throat> It was the Holiday Inn right off the highway. A beautiful one, but um, just, you know, I did some grounding, which is where you walk on ground, um, which is a great thing to do in between, um, you know, breaks of suicide prevention in a Holiday Inn off the hotel. <laughs> anyway, so this is my very quick, I'm going to do a quick one today again. because maybe you guys are as busy as me, and, um, and of course, I'm not doing videos every day, so, you know. <clears throat> okay, here's my question, and I think it's kind of provocative, and I want you guys to think about it. Are you dialing it in, or are you dialed in? And if you heard somebody say that real quick, I don't know what which would your brain register, but dialed in to mean, me means plugged in, following your food plan, doing what you need to do, not messing with it, because you're really sabotaging yourself, right? And dialing it in means, yeah, yeah, ho-hum, slept late, got a donkey, they put sugar in it, they put regular cream in it, oh well, um, and then you get to work, and well, you know, or me at the seminar yesterday, the standard American continental breakfast, you know, how would you like your pastry? Something on the top, something on the inside, something with both. <laughs> Some cranberry juice, which is high fructose corn syrup, apple juice, which is the same. <clears throat> Although they did do a good job with crudités, salad, and fruit, but I did my own planning, so. Then they had the standard American hot stuff that was um, unnamed and breaded and um, bread on the side and then um, little frozen cannoli type things for dessert. So anyway, are you dialing it in or are you dialed in? What's the difference? What's the importance? I am totally dialed in. I am totally dialed in. You know, I call my food, <coughs> excuse me, I call my walk in the morning actually, you know, it's like continuing education. You know, it's like, it's like for my license, except this is for my food plan. And when I walk, I listen to the most fascinating people in the world that will keep explaining to me things that I need to know, things that I need to believe for my food plan, which is high fat, low carb. And um, slowly but surely, you know, you will see some mainstream sort of, um, you know, well-knowns talking about it and getting to it. And isn't that great? But until then, you know, I've got these, um, you know, great big, uh, famous people in the field of high fat, low carb, like the wheat belly people. And I was listening to Dr. Perlmutter. Um, it was a, it's a two hour presentation. So I've got the other hour for today and, um, talking about his, um, brain maker, which is the head of, bro head of, um, broccoli. If you see the book cover and, um, how everything is coming from the gut and it is fascinating and it is true. And it's what, you know, what we learn and um, how we get programmed at a very young age. So I am dialed into my food program and I hope you guys aren't dialing in and especially now, you know, we're getting towards the crunch time. It's really going to be kicking in. I'm going to be attempting creme brulee for Greg. I might make a small one for myself because it is wheat free. Um, and then um, maybe making my pumpkin snickerdoodles, which are also wheat-free, for um, for Thanksgiving and freezing them. And um, yesterday I made buckwheat, buckwheat pancakes f for my breakfast, which is probably why 
um, I kicked into the overeating. I had that before I left for the seminar, and um, would I do it again? I might, but I, sh you know, it's definitely something that is a rare and appropriate. There is no wheat in buckwheat. It comes from the rhubarb, and it is gluten-free and GMO-free. So um, I felt safe in eating it, and it did take care of that pancake thing. And I put ground flax seed in it, so they were as dark and hearty as you could imagine with my organic maple syrup and a grass-fed butter. It's delightful. Um, so anyway, um, that's it for the day. Are you dialed in, or are you just dialing it in? You know the difference. Think about it. Here comes the weekend. This is the day before the Friday, which could end up being part of your messy Monday, especially if you have weigh-in day, either today or tomorrow morning, right? you got to be careful. Anyway, have a wonderful day. This is Sarah. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.